everybody. I'm Joey Han. I'm co-executive director of Code for Science and Society with Danielle Robinson, and I'm a core developer on DAT project. Um, so we've been working on this project called DAT in a Lab with California Digital Library, and I'm going to talk just about what we're doing next. So that project is ending, and we're thinking about how to do data management moving forward with researchers. Um, so in the DAT in the Lab project, we really wanted to start with where the data is created and how the researchers are using that and trying to understand the workflow of researcher data creation and how they sort of move data around from the point of creation. Uh, so we sort of realized with that in the lab that we really want to leverage existing workflows. So data moves around a lot already. People are managing files. And with that, we tried to try and understand how we can leverage that to start putting data versioning and preservation in place for where they're already managing and sharing data. Um, and then we want to link that data, that preservation in place to the library. And our next step now with this next project is linking libraries together. So we have researchers preserving and versioning data in place, and then we want to send it to the library and have libraries uh, connect to each other. So we're working with a new project to move beyond that with California Digital Library again and Internet Archive, and really think about how we can create a cooperative data network uh, on top of DAT. So DAT is a decentralized data protocol, and we could sort of use that to share resources across a network. Um, so right now we're prototyping this with the CDL dash corpus and we have it copied to Internet Archive and in the process of copying it to San Diego Supercomputer Center and a server in my basement um, and sort of looking at the institutional, the institutional um, her monitor of different data servers and different sort of Pro different protocols and servers. Um, so the really interesting part of that is that every institution contributes stuff they're already contributing, but they're, they contribute across the whole network. So they already have servers, they're already using bandwidth, and we want to try and understand how we can use this cooperatively so that if data is replicated in a lot of places, one library doesn't have to store it three times because they know there's three other copies that are being used in other places. Um, so basically we can think about rather than trusting ourselves and having three copies of the same data in one place, we can trust other institutions and bring that copy to the network, basically. So we can trust two other institutions that have the same copy of the same data. And rather than spend resources to collect it ourselves, we can sort of trust that network. So that's what we're working on right now and really excited to do that and collaborate moving forward.